Another example of calculating dose, the absorbed dose and the effective dose. A hypothetical problem here set up uh, doesn't relate to any particular radioactive isotope, uh, but just hypothetical. We have a 65 kilogram person and they're not paying attention. They swallow a radioactive source and then it takes an hour till the doctors remove that source from their stomach. And we're going to assume there are alpha, betas, and gammas that are exiting that source. And the decays per minute for each one are listed here. So it's not a real strong source, but uh, decays per minute. And we have the uh, energy for each radiation being listed, the alpha, the beta, and the gamma. So each alpha is carrying 3.7 MeVs, each beta 0.7 MeVs, each gamma 2.8 MeVs. So let's calculate the total dose and uh, then we'll do the effective dose. So we want to do our absorbed dose here. So we're going to do each of the uh, radiations um, and I'm going to do this uh, to do a conversion factor last. So just accounting for the three radiations, 5.7 times 10 to the fifth for the alphas each one delivering 3.7 MeVs to the person's body. Then we have um, 1.2 times 10 to the 6, that many betas per minute, each of them delivering 0.7 MeVs to the body. And then we have um, 8 times 10 to the 4th, and each of them 2.8 MeVs to the body. I am making an assumption that all of the gamma rays are absorbed inside the body. That's probably not a good uh, approximation, but we're not going to bother with some percentage of the gammas absorbed or some percentage of the betas absorbed. Um, so those would be our uh, calculations, giving us the MeV energy from each source of radiation. And now I want to um, put in a conversion factor that it's in the stomach for an hour. We've got 60 decay or sorry, 60 minutes in an hour. These are the decays per minute. So how many decays in an hour? What type of conversion factor should I put in um, in order to uh, come up with that that value? Well, I'll be multiplying here. I don't have room on this line to to multiply, but 60 minutes in an hour. These are per minute, uh, the decays per minute. So I'm going to cancel off the minutes and I'll have uh, MEVs per hour. And then I would rather have joules than MEV so I can calculate the dose. The dose is joules per kilogram. So 1.6 times 10 to the minus 13 joules for one MEV. So that produces our, uh, our total energy. All of this needs to be divided by the person's mass, 65 kilograms. So do this uh, information inside the square brackets. Do those calculations first. That will give you the total MEVs uh, per minute. This, will, this conversion will bring it up to MEVs per hour. This conversion, joules per the hour. So the total joules on the uh, uh, numerator here. So. So dividing by 65 kilograms, the mass of the person. You should do this calculation on your own. I came up with 4.69 times 10 to the minus 7 joules per kilograms. So that would be 4.69 times 10 to the minus 7 grays. That's the gray is one joule per one kilogram. So that's the absorbed dose. Now what about the effective dose? Well, for the effective dose, I'm going to use an RBE uh, like this. The alphas, I'm going to say, have an RBE of 15. The alphas are dangerous, more biologically effective. The betas, a 1, and the gammas, a 1 for the RBE. So we have to change our calculation in the, uh, in the brackets here. 5.7 times 10 to the fifth, the 3.7 MeVs, and now I have to bring in a factor of 15 for the RBE for the alpha. And then the beta, 1.2 times 10 to the 6, the 0.7 MeV for the, uh, the beta, a factor of 1. And then the gamma, 8 times 10 to the 4th, 
2.8 MeVs and then one here. So the new uh, calculation here is you have to include how effective the radiation is. So um, sorry about that. The uh, alphas, alpha number had to be multiplied by 15. This is the decays per minute for the alpha, the energy of each alpha, the RBE factor for the alpha. And then for the beta, the decays per minute, the energy, RBE of 1, the gammas, that many gammas per minute, the uh, uh, energy for a gamma, 2.8 MeV, and a RBE number of 1. Again, we need this conversion factor uh, to bring us to an hour of exposure, so 60 minutes an hour, and again to give us joules, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 13 joules per MeV, and again all of this 65 kilograms for the um, mass of the person, and divide by that, so for the effective dose, I came up with 4.83 times 10 to the minus 6 sieverts. If you wanted this in rems, it's a 100 times bigger number. So 4.83 <coughs> times 10 to the minus 4 rem. And in terms of millirems, 0 0.483 millirems. So the particular source that I chose um, was not particularly dangerous. It's not a recommended procedure to eat radioactive material, but uh, only end up with 0.483 milligrams of exposure. Uh, so again, the, the total dose is the decays times the energy for each decay. Convert to the proper time and convert to joules and divide by the mass in kilograms. For the effective dose, each type of radiation, you have to look up in a table the RBE number, the relative biological effectiveness, and include that factor on each of these calculations. So keep practicing with that. Ask your instructor some questions.